Hi guys, it's Mike Everest here from the 10th Essex and Radio Anglorum. We're going to be taking a look now at, uh, at our First World War putties. Okay? Now a lot of guys are going to be looking at the way they do their putties. Some of the guys have issues with them. Some of them wear them too short. Some of them wearing them so they're falling down. We're going to be trying to address some of those issues and some of the big simple ones like stepping on your uh, on your legs so you'll see lots of sort of uh, like a jagged line at the back of your calf okay what you want to look like is this now these are probably the best set i own these are an original set from 100 years ago the original foxes putties this is their much closer we'll be showing them we'll be uh, giving them a nice close-up photo so these are original foxes putties these are actually officers ones but uh, but they're good enough for me to be wearing as well now those are pretty cool You've just started your First World War journey, okay? You've just started your First World War reenactment journey. You thought, you know what, I'm gonna get into this period. And you decide you're gonna do the job lot, buy it 700, 700 pounds sterling from Soldier of Fortune, and you get a whole bunch of stuff. Now, for the large part, things like Soldier of Fortune trousers and tunics and stuff like that are pretty good. They're gray back shirts, leave a little bit to desire, but really where they and pretty much every other bulk supplier fall down, so your things like what price glory and, and if you really are that bad you're going for pavlators, which you really shouldn't be. These are the putties they're going to be doing. Now these are about as wrong as you could get, okay? They're cut from a single piece of cloth rather than purposely woven, okay? So you look at these things and you look at these things, there's big differences in the weave. Now we'll show you a nice close up on those in a second where you'll see the weave difference. In fact, these just appear to be felted cloth, okay? Now we're going to try and put these on, okay, and we're going to show you the issues with them, and we're going to show you not to panic, because if you have bought these and you spent your £25 sterling on it, or your, or your $40 on them, or whatever, don't worry, okay, because we're going to, we, we will be able to fix it, okay. The biggest issue with them is the cloth quality, and the second biggest issue is the length, they're not really long enough, okay. So let's try and pop these on. First things first with any type of putties, you want to blouse the, your trouser up a little bit, okay. Now a lot of guys have a, have a particular way of hooking it back here, like this. I tend to find just a kind of a crumple up section there and it'll, it'll all work itself out. So let's try and have a look now with these things. So we go around the top here, okay, and we're going to hook it all in. So let's try and put these on. And you'll see the main issue that a lot of new First World War reenactors and living historians have. So there we go, and start winding this up here. Now you can already see the issues starting to occur. These problems here, the stepping, which looks unsightly and very, very messy. So let's take a closer look. So we wind it around with the tape there. That's something that we don't have in the dark ages. We have to tuck it under or even use a garment hook. The tape is a useful thing though. Nice little loop there. We'll show you how to do that loop in a second. And it blouses over. So, not the worst thing in the world, and that's because we're largely, effectively, polishing a turd here. These issues here, look at these, big stepping problems here. That's going to be a serious issue, big serious problem here, okay? It's going to look sloppy, and it's going to contribute to your putties falling down in the field. Now, if you're just doing standard parade stuff, you want to look as smart as possible. If you're doing living history stuff, talking to the public, not only do you want to look smart as possible, you want to keep these up. If you're doing tactical events, Things like in trenches, places like Newville or across on the west coast as well, there'll be sites like that. These things, you want to keep them as protective as possible. They need to protect you from barbed wire and they need to protect you from getting your stones inside your shoes. So if they're falling down halfway through an assault, that's a disaster, okay? So, how do you fix these? Before we move on to getting the decent pairs, how do you fix these ones? So let's have a look. Firstly, what we're going to do is when we unwind our putties, it's always good practice to wind them up as you go out. Okay, so here we go. Let's just wind these up quickly. Now, once we're winding these up, I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. Now these, a lot of the guys will already know, okay? I'm gonna teach you to suck eggs here a little bit. But if you're new to First World War living history, this could save you and make you look that little bit sharper. Okay, so here we go. Bit of a disaster already, we've got a step. So the first thing we do, do a twist. Same thing as we're doing in the Dark Ages, just do a quick twist, that flips it round, and there we go, it's already binding much tighter, okay? And then we'll do another twist in a second at the back here as well. But you see there's a lot of fiddling around with these things as well. So you've got a real bunch of issues here that you don't really need to worry about. So we'll just do another twist here, 
We're going to back ourselves there. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. And once we've got that up, you'll see how difficult it is to kind of actually get a set of cheapo Soldier of Fortune putties to fit. Okay, so we're looking like that. You've at least got them tight to your leg, and that's an important part about your putties for First World War, okay? So the twist method, that's gonna be your, your kind of solution, your halfway house solution before you get a decent pair. So now, let's check out a decent pair. We'll just quickly whip these off. Now I'm gonna go against exactly what I just said there because I'm never gonna wear these things ever again. I'm just gonna hook them straight off and preferably chuck them into a fire. So we'll just chuck those away. Now, a good set of putties. Obviously, if you can get yourself a set of originals, you can get these for, I mean, I picked these up for 50 pounds sterling. You're looking at between $80 and 60 pounds sterling if you can find them. They are rare, okay? But here's a trick. During the 1980s, the British Army were issued with short putties. And these are pretty much cut from cloth that could well have been used just after the Great War. And here's what we do. They're three feet long putties, and we do this. We connect them together, okay? We'll get you a nice close up of that as well. And we connect them together and we get three pairs, okay? Once you've got three pairs together, so there's our second join. Once you've got three pairs together, you're gonna have enough to be able to go all the way up your leg and it's gonna stretch nicely. Now these, you're gonna have no problem putting on. So here we go. Once again, blouse the trouser a little bit. Make sure your laces are all tucked in. And we don't have to worry about tucking them underneath your feet like you do in the dark ages. So let's just tuck that around like that. And here we go. You notice, much quicker, much easier, with a much better effect. Here we go. And we're done. <laughs> Look at that. Easy peasy. Now, to tie it off, here's what I do. Okay, so if we can see if we can zoom in on that one. Watch my hands there. So I just do like a little loop underneath it. Take your finger, stick it there, and then just give it a quick knot there, pretty simple like that. So you've got a, a quick release knot, I just tuck that in there, I tuck that under that, and then, because you blouse your trousers, it can come over the top and it can hide the top. There you go. Nice, clean line at the back of the calf there, so it's looking good, and a really nice clean set of putties. Now you can get these, these crop up on eBay all the time. If you type in World War I putties or World War II putties, you're likely, your first results are gonna be cheapo things like that from India. Okay, and they're gonna be like 25 quid. Have a look, see if you can type in the word 80s putties or NATO putties, okay? You'll be able to catch them. They'll come in short sets, okay? I'm just gonna grab a pair for you. So we've got some sets here. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, if you can't buy any, that's because I've stolen them all. So this is my collection at the moment, which I'm going to be stitching together for a bunch of our guys out in the States. But this is what they look like when they come to pieces and they come apart. That's what you're looking for, okay? So these things are about 10 quid for a pair, okay? You can get them for cheaper at places like military affairs and stuff like that, they do crop up. But on eBay, if you want them quick and easy, 10 quid a pair, three pairs, and 10 minutes of your time stitching them together, okay? You'll need to snip this edge off here. So you see that? You need to snip that edge off there, and then you're gonna cut it on, and you're gonna, you're gonna stitch it on to the other side, making sure they're all on the same way round, and making sure if you do have, some of them will have some white markings on the inside. Those white markings will be sort of like cloth mill markings making sure you've either scratched them off or they're all on the same all on the same way out. You get three pairs, they go up nice and easy, and you've got yourself a fine set of putties there. Okay? And that's really two different ones here. That's really what you're looking for, okay? If you can't find originals, which are going to be really, really rare, some of them come out from Canada, 
But if you can't find originals, then get yourself a set of three pairs, okay, stiff them together. Now some of our guys in the Great War are a lot taller than they were back then 100 years ago, okay? And some of them have better developed calves, okay? So same issue that we have in the Dark Ages, and the same solution exactly. If you've got an issue with the fact that you, you, your putties aren't long enough, get yourself a set of four pairs of those ones from eBay, stitch them together, you get a longer putty, okay? And it'll be much better for you, so you'll be able to go all the way up. It's probably not strictly accurate, but it's going to look spot on, and that's really a critical thing. And as long as really you're looking smart, you're looking sharp, and it's the right kind of cloth, then you're kind of then you're kind of good to go. Okay, and again, it will keep it nice and protective. So really, that's kind of what we're looking for with the Great War stuff. Okay, so nice and simple there. Again, just to reiterate, avoid if you can the Soldier of Fortune and WPG ones. If you do get them. Don't worry, you will still be able to fix it by doing a twist over. Or, if you can do it, find three sets of the ones from eBay and you can go from there. Thanks for watching guys, I've been Mike Everest, this has been a 2 Mike production. See you next time.